hello hello everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you and god bless you how are you all doing today so right now on the internet space my correct correct people a lot has happened and a lot is still happening as you take the beef for inside the palace of ileife hmm. yes my correct people when uh all of it Toby was two weeks postpartum she came out online uh, to say certain things to explain uh, uh, how her journey was and everything how it went and every other thing so a lot of people we are like thank you for coming out to say this a lot of people we are like we are not interested in your story we need the dna we need to know who is the father of your twins a lot of people we are like how come we didn't see you with pregnancy how come we didn't hear but why we had but why a lot was a fact eh? so my correct correct people yes 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 uh, uh all be she hid her pregnancy away from a lot of people yeah she she really tried to hide the pregnancy yeah so she did already come out in this clip there is this clip making it round on social media where she came out to explain the reasons why she hide uh she hid her pregnancy away from a whole lot of people and to equally expose why she lost some of the babies that died before yes because this is not her first uh, pregnancy so we've heard allegedly that there are other beleso uh, which she do already carry and before you know it the belego just come out anyhow so Olori Tobido already come out, come reveal them. So my correct, correct people in her words allegedly, uh, if you wa if you've watched that clip, you will see we actually said in her two weeks wait, and <laughs> that two weeks wait, a lot of people we are like ah, she be we talk am na IVF na this na that, and you come out to tell us that is miracle. I want to correct something there because I saw a whole lot of comments about it. Is a miracle? Is IVF is miracle? Whether IVF or not, is a is still a miracle. Some people will go through IVF yet they will not come out with their kids. Uh -huh. So um, the reason I want to correct this is that a lot of people that will go through IVF, when they now see that uh, comment or something, it will discourage them. If you have the money to go through IVF, you can go through IVF. If it happens for you, it is as well miracle because I've heard, there is this woman of God that I've heard allegedly that went to, uh, yeah, she reviewed, she, she, she used her mouth to say it. She, she did IVF for for more than 13 times <laughs> none of them clicked and she ended up adopting i think two or three daughters yeah so my correct people ivf is a miracle and uh, a natural conception as well is a miracle so all of it will be explained that uh, in her two week one of her two week waits and you know that is ivf mommies that will normally have this two week uh weights so she explained that in one of her two weeks wait that um she went to an event and someone hugged and touched her belly so after hugging and touching her belly my correct people now like that so neither belly take by olobi tobi no see the belly again no hmm so she no see the belly again so and after he get the one while where she explained that uh, she posted a video a picture of her on the internet and before you know it people were like you look pregnant and she decided to take the pre uh, the picture down i think that was when it's uh, when uh, we heard allegedly on the internet space that she dropped a picture of her pregnancy and uh, before you know it she took it down immediately that was when she was uh, uh, explaining yeah so my correct correct people all of it will be revealed certain things about this her pregnancy journey how she tried to hide it away from people how she stopped attending any event at all at all she stopped everything she was not picking calls she explained of her energies from calls and in fact she explained a whole a whole lot of things yes so yes so my correct people that people as well can as well learn from what she uh, explained yeah but they are like still asking her question why 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 she's doing all those things she's doing now that she do already put to bed uh, is it because she didn't attend all those uh, events then is that why she's now like trying to be in the life of kabi in fact she, she's just like forcing herself into the life of kabi as we hear on the internet so i am not living in the palace with them so my correct correct people hmm olori toby should already expose a lot a lot a lot a lot so who are those people that we are now like hugging her that we are now like hmm um, hmm, there are more to all these things so there are more to all these things and she equally explained how she was prayerful throughout the her pregnancy journey yeah we heard those alleged stories then how she will uh, reach out to pastor jerry Eze, 
how she would uh, uh, pray with Queen Naomi. Allegedly, my correct people, I'm not living with them. She equally said she used, uh, she was praying every three, three hours. Yeah. While she was throughout the period of her pregnancy, that if you need the prayer points, you can reach her out. Yes, you can reach out to her through her channel link, and she's going to give you those prayer points that she prayed that helped her carry her babies to full term. Yes, my correct people. A lot of people that are like, eh, why, why was she having a series of uh, uh, her babies commoting and so on and so forth? Look at her, she already explained and with her own mouth say, uh, the belle now from energy, bad energy from people, bad energy from people, Naim Mekamo. And again, in stop answering call to avoid more energy, more bad energy from getting to her. Yeah, she equally said that it's not that they will harm her baby or so. No, but uh, she's just avoiding it for a particular reason. You never can tell. You never can tell. So my correct, correct people, that just it. I saw the alleged information as you take the fly up and down on top internet. I say, let me carry it and come to you. Now when I hear as you take the grass goes on the internet space concerning Olori Toby and her baby and how other bellets to which they carry, they take the eye, we know they see them. Yeah, because today they go come out and now give Kabi as you say, oh, she don't carry bellet. Tomorrow we go here say, ah, Olori Toby, she don't talk again, say the bellet no day again, it don't come out. Ah, uh ah. -uh. We had a whole lot of stories during that period as well. So now when she do already come out, go explain and say, yes, 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 truly, she been the gay uh, belle then, but the belle no go stay. Hmm. We go make people not say, at times, some things where we they talk, not the truth. Yeah, so my correct, correct people, that's it, that's it. What do you think about this uh, uh, matter from Toby, uh, do you learn anything? I don't know if I'll be attaching the clip because of copyright, but let me try and know if I will attach it for you to uh, 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 listen to it yourself and be able to analyze. I will see you soon in my next upload. Bye bye. Thank you and God bless you. Some losses gave me the experience on how to get a full term pregnancy because I cried to God from the depths of my heart. <laughs> Then I finally got an epiphany and I figured out what food to eat, what food to avoid, things to do specifically on how to get a full term pregnancy. Because getting pregnant is indeed a miracle and successfully delivering your baby, having them to nurture is indeed more spiritual than people think. You know, some people get the chance and they're lucky enough to just go through pregnancy without any form of stress in fact they were not even praying for it you know they were not even worried about it it just happened and nothing was in their way some people are lucky like that but if you know that you've been having difficulty trying to conceive then you need to take your matter more seriously so some of the things i did that helped me through this particular pregnancy was that I had to avoid going out. I mean, what is life without going out, socializing and all that? But if you have a bigger goal, then there's some certain measures you need to take. Like mine, I had to avoid events, marketplace. In any case, I'm not, I, I rarely go to the market, but then I avoided going to the market. I avoided talking to people on the phone because sometimes energy seeps through the phone it's not like whoever it is you're talking to means you any harm but in the process of conversing there's every possibility that you could share the news prematurely out of excitement and it's not as if the person is going to like harm you or wish you bad or whatsoever but sometimes people's fear other people's fear can affect your situation because you opened a channel for them to connect to what you're going through i i don't know if you're getting my point so basically i had to avoid talking to people not because i don't care about them not because i don't care about family and stuff like that but just because i knew i needed to protect my energy even more and i just didn't want to have to share the news prematurely so that you don't have to be giving them constant updates on how it's going because that alone is a lot of pressure on its own and you don't want to add that pressure to the pregnancy um stress 
although staying indoor was quite a bit of a challenge and some people who invited me for events during that time frame must have thought i blew them off and i just didn't want to show up for their events but then now looking back i'm sure they knew they now know the reason i didn't show up for their events anyway i came to that conclusion of not attending events because during one of those times when i was trying to conceive and i mean i was on two weeks wait for one of those pregnancies and there was this friend of mine an old friend who met me at an event after hugging and saying hello to her she literally touched my tummy i mean i was taken aback because i'm like why did she do that and that made me decide that i just didn't want to be in a public setting event or party or whatsoever <laughs> during my pregnancy be also because there was a time i posted a picture <laughs> it was quite early nothing had changed about my face you know 